Boris Johnson has said he's a low-tax Tory, once arguing national insurance rises were unfair. I'm on message. Look, I've got you. We, 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 we love NHS on social care. But the message today is very different. A £12 billion tax hike for the NHS and then social care. A new design for the Tories that breaks a manifesto promise. Governments have ducked this problem for decades. You can't fix the NHS without fixing social care. Yes, I accept that this breaks a manifesto commitment, which is not something, which is not something I do lightly, but a global pandemic was in no one's manifesto, Mr Speaker. And so national insurance will go up by 1.25 percentage points, with employers paying the same, making it 2.5 overall. That means a worker on an average 30 grand salary will pay an extra £255 per year. Keir Starmer. The Labour leader taunted the Prime Minister with his manifesto promise not to raise tax. A promise that they all made at the last election, every single one of them. A tax rise, a tax rise on young people, supermarket workers and nurses. So what will this tax mean for social care? Those with assets under £20,000 will not pay for care. If you have assets between £20,000 and £100,000, you'll pay for some of the costs, but it will be means tested. Those with assets above £100,000 will pay the full costs up to a maximum of £86,000. But none of this will apply until October 2023. Those currently in the care system will not benefit from this cap. That is not fair, is it? Uh, unfortunately, there will be people sometimes that are you know, the other side of a, of a start date. And uh, I completely understand the concerns that uh, have been raised by people uh, affected or, or, I guess, not affected in, in that way. It's important that we just get on with this change. The These ministers say it's COVID that's forced them to turn their backs on a promise. But some say that's an excuse. We've always known that we needed to spend a lot more on social care to sort out the means test and provide more money. That's wholly unrelated to the pandemic. So certainly all of the money that was found today for social care actually has nothing to do with the pandemic. Overall, it's good news for the man who first came up with a social care plan 10 years ago. In an ideal world, I'd love the cap to be a bit lower, but the really important thing was to get this in place because at the moment, the cap is infinity. You're exposed to absolutely everything. This is a time to be delighted that action is happening, but also to look back with sadness on the problems that have happened over the last many years. But there are nerves about the future too, that money ploughed into the NHS backlog first will not leave enough for social care. Anoush Gristana, News at 10.